So Recoil follows the, the story, it follows the character of Alex, who is a former All Marines commando, um, and he's led down a very dark and suicidal path in search of vengeance from the men that ended his career, his relationship, and very nearly ended his life. And it's not until he meets Suze, um, which is the point when he basically starts falling in love with this woman, um, and it gives him a reason to, to live again. So he's left in this emotional tear between the love interest and getting his vengeance, basically. It sounds like an exciting tale. Um, how does one from, go from being a Marine to being an actor? How did that happen? Um, I always wanted to be an actor. I always wanted to be in film, but I never had the courage to do it. So I joined the Marines instead. Um, naturally. naturally, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just always listened to people bringing me down and stuff. Um, I was bullied a little bit at school, so my, my confidence wasn't great when I was younger. Um, God knows how I ended up getting into the Marines in that respect. But yeah, I went in the Marines and then when I left, the few years after that um, were very kind of dark, mentally dark. Um, and it wasn't until I pulled through that, which was when I then gained some self-confidence and thought, Do you know what, now is the time when I'm going to pursue what I actually want to do. And how did you find it uh, standing in front of the camera for the first time as an actor? Um, people always ask that comparison with another scary job. I suspect the Marines aspect was more scary, but perhaps there were a few nerves as well. A few nerves as well in front of the camera, were there? Yeah, it's different nerves. It's um, obviously in the Marines, it's it's completely different. It's scary in its own element. Um, but yeah, when it comes to film, and I wasn't like film trained or anything, so I didn't go to drama school for three years or anything. Um, so it's petrifying because it's the it's the first point when you you put yourself in front of the camera and you open your soul up and uh, because I write and I'll produce as well um, a lot of my thoughts I'll put into the script so I'm giving myself to an audience open for judgment so it's like it's petrifying at first but now it's it's I get masses of enjoyment out of it so yeah I love it. And what about your former Marine colleagues? What do they make of you as the actor now? Um, it's, it's, it's been a nice mix of response. Most of it's positive. Um, a lot of guys who I haven't spoke to in years, um, bearing in mind I joined like 10 years ago, uh, and I haven't seen some of the guys for like eight, seven years or something. Um, and then all of a sudden, uh, this Recoil's teaser trailer has popped up on their Facebook and they've been like oh that's Bartle um, and then they've contacted me and I've had like numerous guys contact me out of the blue and it's just been like it's just brilliant to, to be speaking to them again um, and the response is at the minute they they love what they've seen with the teaser trailer so I just need to deliver with the actual film now. So in terms of there's a teaser trailer out has the short film been made as well? It has, hasn't it? No, not yet. So the, no. the plans are for funding for the short film and then perhaps a longer film as well. Yeah. So basically, we're going to make a short film in October. Um, it will be uh, partially funded by a Kickstarter campaign that's currently running at the minute. So anyone that wanted to get involved, they can find um, the production on Kickstarter if they just type in Recoil. Um, and then my company, Bottle Productions, will be putting in the rest of the funds needed to, to bring the film into production. Um, we're going to make it in October and then the aim is we will run it into film festivals, get it as much exposure um, as we can and then we will make a feature film starting next year hopefully.